Hello everybody, I'm Gamers101 and this is my guide on the Kinsect Glaive, one of my favorite weapons in the game, but you've got to know how to use it to make it effective, so I'm going to do my best to teach you the basics for the weapon. First and foremost, this weapon's biggest strengths rely on mobility and staying in the air as long as possible, especially against mobile enemies. And if you want to achieve Helicopter of Death status, you have to learn how to buff yourself with your Kinsect. This is the most important part of this weapon. Below the sharpness gauge, you will see an image of the Kinsect in three squares with one, two, and three in them. These will be what you use to determine your buffs, and each buff comes from a different part of the monster. In order to fire your Kinsect, however, first things first is to draw your weapon. And then you use your left trigger to aim it as if it were your slinger, but instead of using the right trigger to fire, you use the triangle or Y button to send the Kinsect. This will allow the Kinsect to hit the monster and obtain a buff from it. Once you send the Kinsect out, it will be stationary until you press either triangle slash Y to attack again, or circle slash B to recall it and collect your buff. That's the important part recalling your Kinsect to collect the buff it has obtained, indicated by the color of the Kinsect in the upper left corner here. For example, you just saw me pick up an orange buff. I'll go over the precise details of each buff near the end, but for now, here's the basic stuff. The three buffs available are red, white, orange, and green. The most important one is red, but I'll go over them all. The red buff is usually obtained from hitting monsters' heads, or for some of them, like the Tobikodachi, the tail, but that's not very common and usually will work with either one in those cases. The red buff gives you increased damage and changes your attacks drastically. This buff is the one that lets you become a human Apache attack helicopter, as seen here. It also changes your ground attacks, and combining your triangle and circle attacks can be devastating, especially on a monster that's knocked down. The white buff is usually obtained from hitting the front legs or wings of monsters. It varies, so you'll have to experiment. And this buff gives you increased speed. Simple enough. The orange buff increases your defense and knockback defense to a minor degree. This buff is usually obtained from hitting the body or upper hind legs of some monsters. And again, this varies a little bit, so experiment on your own for that, because some monsters are just, are, they're just weird. The last buff is the green buff, and this one simply restores a small amount of health when you recall the Kinsect. Usually this is done by hitting the tail of a monster. This one doesn't seem to vary very much from what I can tell, so it's usually the tail. Now I'll give you an example of the different movesets with and without the red buff, so you can see just how drastic the changes are, and I'll explain what I'm doing. First of all, without the buff, you can still go and stay airborne, but it is more difficult. You press the right trigger plus X for PS4, or right trigger plus A for Xbox to launch into the air, and from here, you can do an aerial dodge with X, which is a directional dodge. This allows you to close a gap or a reposition in a pinch. The circle or B button is the one that turns you into a death chopper. And as long as the last attack of your combo hits, you'll be shot airborne again and can remain airborne for as long as you keep this up until your stamina runs out. This combo can be done to trail from one end of the monster to another, dealing massive damage. And while you're airborne, all damage done is mounting damage, which means you can mount the monster this way. As long as the monster is in a mountable state, mind you. If you press Y or triangle while doing this, you'll do an attack that goes straight down. And if you have the red buff, it does a whirlwind attack that goes straight down which can also be used to mount the monster. The last thing is that when you aim with the Kinsect, if you press the right trigger, you'll fire a projectile that, if it hits the monster, will attract your Kinsect to attack it and create these clouds here. The cloud's color depends on the element it has, minus healing, which is why it's green. And if you break the small swarm, it'll activate the effect. This is something you should do once you get all three buffs active, so your Kinsect is doing damage along with you, and throwing down some elemental effects as well. This yellow bar underneath your buffs is the Kinsect's stamina. It will remain attacking the monster if you use the R2 attack, specifically. It will keep attacking the monster until the stamina runs out, and then it will automatically return to you. I did not show you all of the movesets, so get out there and experiment with the weapon a little bit. Try out the sliding attacks, for example. But remember to send and recall your Kinsect and keep an eye on your buffs so that you can buff again when they deplete and you'll be an attack helicopter in no time. The last thing I want to cover is the specific statistical uh, effects of combination colors when it comes to your buffs. Red and white is a 20% attack increase and your, the red and white lasts for 60 seconds. 
White and orange is a 6% defense increase plus earplugs, which is resistance to some monster roars. White and orange bonuses last for 60 seconds. The red, white, and orange, the combination of all three, is a 25% attack increase, 8% defense increase plus earplugs, and lasts for 60 seconds as well. Now, here's the only downside to having a combination of buffs, and it's a very minor one, so I would never recommend doing it this way. But... The white one on its own, which is a speed increase, lasts for 90 seconds when, when it is the only buff that you have active. Now, orange goes the other way around. Orange increases the hunter's defense and knockback resistance, like I said earlier. This only lasts for 45 seconds when it's by itself, so this is actually better to acquire when you have other buffs along with you. However, the one thing that I've noticed is that when you have the orange buff, uh, alongside another buff, it does not seem to get the knockback resistance for some reason. I'm not sure why. I could be wrong about that also, but from what I've tested, it doesn't seem to actually give it to you, and I don't really know why. But generally speaking, the majority of the time, you're going to want to have all three buffs active, unless you're in a specific situation where you think the orange buff by itself is more useful, which is not common at all in fact i don't think i've come across a situation where i find that to be necessary so keep that in mind as you're using these buffs but that'll be about it for the kinsight glaive guide guys if you liked the video please leave it a thumbs up and if you like the content i'm putting out feel free to subscribe for content every single day if you haven't already and if you want to join my discord link for that is in the description below but otherwise again thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video okay bye so fun it is so fun <laughs>